Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which we're going to discuss the awesomeness of fingerstyle on a classical guitar. I'm going to discuss all the aspects of playing fingerstyle on a classical because while the acoustic guitar is the perfect conduit, the perfect instrument for the fingerstyle method, the classical guitar can be used uh, pretty effectively also for, for fingerstyle. Um, there are many, many players who choose to play fingerstyle on a classical guitar because it kind of blends the modern sound with the classic sound. So um, we're gonna discuss that, but first let me uh, repeat something that I've repeated repeatedly over the uh, course of the acoustic versus classical guitar lessons here on Lick and Riff. The videos that I've made as a series, the acoustic versus classical guitar series. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend it. It's very enjoyable. Um, and that is that the classical guitar's uniqueness lies in the fact that each of the strings, each one of the six strings uh, of the classical guitar produces a different sound. It has a different sound characteristic. When you play the acoustic guitar, you get a uniform sound. You get a uniform block of sound, which is a steely sound, a modern sound, a beautiful sound. And on a classical guitar, no matter what you play, you can hear all the strings separately. I gave the example of playing this, okay? When you play this chord, a5 and 7 on strings 3 and 4, which is A minor add 9. If you play it on, a, on a, a classical guitar, you can actually hear each and every note. Whereas on an acoustic guitar, it sounds kind of smeared. It sounds like a huge smear of beautiful atmospheric sound. Whereas here, each of the strings can be can be heard very, very brightly and very, very uh, clearly. So that's the main advantage of the classical guitar. The downside, the disadvantage of the classical guitar is that you need to know how to work it in order to produce the sounds that each string wants to, wants to produce. So uh, when you first encounter a classical guitar, I advise you to play um, the exercise that I showed you on the video on how to make beautiful music using only two chords, which can be E minor and C, or it can be A minor and F. So you can start okay, by exploring okay, the sound of the, uh, uh, of the open strings, strings one, two, three, and six, okay, with a solo on the on the first string okay you can just okay you can just do it slowly okay, and then play C make sure to listen to each and every note taking any chord you like and just arpeggiating it. Okay, I'm playing uh, C and A minor, hammering on the D string. Okay. Okay. Just explore different sounds. different patterns uh, which I showed you over numerous fingerstyle exercise videos this was B minor okay I played two bass notes then the chord and then I alternated between two bass notes and one bass note okay? that's all I did and I opened 
uh, opened. I, I lifted up the, the finger off of the second string, I played the bar, and then just put it back. Okay? Then, once you're ready and you think you're ready to noodle around, um, you can start by playing um, by playing sixth harmonies. Okay, you can do it with E minor. Okay, and okay, you have um, three and four on strings one and three. You have five and five, seven and seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, so... Okay. Get the feel for, the, for the, um, the dynamics of the classical guitar. And you can also play, play it on A. Okay, with a solo on strings two and four. Okay, on two and two. Okay, then on three and four. Then you can do five and five or five and six. Okay. Okay, now this would give you a completely different sound if you played on an acoustic. But here, because the notes are separate from one another, the strings are separate from one another, um, you get a completely different expression. And then, when you feel completely ready for it, check out any of my videos on uh, fingerstyle soloing and improvisation, noodling, and just pick one and do the exercise on a classical. Now, I'm gonna noodle around to show you, uh, you're used to me playing an acoustic. You can take one of my arrangements and play it on a classical and see the difference. Okay, I'm just gonna improvise for you so you can hear the difference. You're used to my playing, you're used to my sound, so this might show you that if you try the same things on a classical that you're used to playing on an acoustic, you might get a completely different experience, completely different music, so... because on a, I, I don't think that this would sound as good on an acoustic. It would sound muddy, it would sound dirty, it would sound like a mistake, but here it was actually music because the high notes are separate from the low notes. So let me try to continue. <laughs>
anything like this on an acoustic um, and um, this is nothing new by the way all of this I showed you all of this every, every single thing that I did here uh, every single method every single creativity exercise every every single secret uh, to my playing I showed you before it's all in the soloing and improvisation noodling uh, playlist so uh, go check it out and uh, just, you know, so you know, uh, for example, I, I have the flamenco lick that uh, I played. Uh, how, how did it go? No, it was Okay, right. Was okay, this, for example, you can do it as arpeggio. Okay, not just... Okay, as I showed you in that video, you can do it... Okay, you can do it down and up. Okay. Okay. Ah. Okay, I don't really remember this. Right? So... That's another example of something that I showed you before, but you can take and try. Mm. Hey, you can use flamenco exercises and flamenco techniques on this. You can do, you can do this, which I showed you in the years old, the almost decade old lesson. For flamenco techniques. Um, and all that you can you can add you can add nine to chords okay and everything sounds so much different on so it sounds so different I I, I want to say so much so fuller so much I, I had tons of words in my mind it sounds so different on a classical than on an acoustic just try it just try it that's all I'm saying so thank you very much for watching. Enjoy, and I will see you in the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye for now.